Well, here it is. Finally, story of my life. The part of my life where I was part of the goth crowd. Um, before I start, um, obviously this is very different because people wouldn't have known me back then, but I was quite a different person. I thought differently, I uh, acted differently, and uh, <laughs> nothing much has really changed. But anyway, um, when did it start? I think I was about 18, 19, maybe I was 20. Anyway, uh, I, I um, wasn't much of a party girl. I didn't go out much. I wasn't really someone that went to the city or anything like that. I just you know, enjoyed life. I just uh, liked staying home, listening to music. Um, I was very single in those days. I didn't uh, have much as girlfriend-wise. Um, but um, after I broke up with one of my girlfriends, uh, this was uh, maybe months, maybe a year after, uh, one of my friends introduced me to a goth girl. And um, she was a complete atheist. Her name was Michelle. Uh, didn't believe in God. Didn't give a shit about all that kind of stuff. And um, I was quite the opposite. I was a good little Christian boy. So when a Christian boy meets, yeah, yeah it was a good, it's good um, experience. Uh, she always she said to me, "This was the thing that shocked me." She said, "If I'm dating you, I'm willing to go to a church for you." And I thought, "But she's." doesn't believe in that stuff and she's willing to go to church for me, I'm, okay. So anyway, um, it was nice of thought, uh, the relationship wasn't the best because I just think it was like, it was better off as friends, so that's why we decided just to be friends. Um, 10 years later, 15 years later, we're still friends, long story short. Anyway, so I went to this place that she used to go to, it was called Enigma Bar, and um, that's where all these goths used to hang out. and. Uh, I'm like, well, I don't really fit in here. Like, you know, I'll put on the black skull top, put on black skull necklace, and my black spikes and chains, and uh, yeah, um, all my black clothing. I was fully dressed up and stuff. And then, you know, there was good looking chicks around, you know, I was like, ooh, hey, check that one out, ooh, check that one out. Um, I didn't think of it in time. I had the blonde mohawk, so I, I did fit in. Not like I didn't, but I, I, for the look, um, I saw this really uh, skinny looking bloke, his name's Brad, man, it was like he, he had he had a mohawk, he had a skinny body, he was not bad for a goth looking bloke, I got him admit and um, took a bit of shining to him, man, look, look at the chicks that are around him, you know, and then there's one chick, his missus at the time, called Crystal, damn, I was looking at her like, you know, she was, he was doing his DJ thing and she was off, um, in the corner of the room, and I was like, I knew I shouldn't, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go chat to her, because, you know, I was a bit like that, you know, and, well, we just got talking, and we became friends, and, and I always considered, from that day till now, we've even got a photo on, on Facebook of me and her together, and man, <laughs> oh, it was good times, she was, uh, she was really one of my really good friends growing up, um, in that place. Because, you know, she, um, like, I looked at her boyfriend and I was like, oh, man, I'd love to be like that. Just, you know, it's good fit-looking bloke and all the chicks around me, you know, DJing. I, that, that, that'd be my sort of thing. Um, I started to get other male friends there. One guy called Jay. He, oh, man, God, he, him and his missus were a fucking great couple. Jay and Shay, uh, they were, man, I was still friends with Jay. He... He actually protected me one night. Actually, he always looked out for me, and and I and I like that because, you know, without him, I don't think I would have felt safe in that place. He always made me feel safe. Then there was this other bloke called Harry that um, what can I say about him? Very unusual type of bloke, you know, very friendly. Uh, yeah, I think he was bisexual. Uh, very um outgoing, uh, I always used to see him hooking up with guys and stuff, And but the key, he attracted girls as well, he, he was a great guy, and, you know, they were a great bunch of people, the goths, um, you know, like I said, Michelle, Crystal, Brad, Jay, Jay, and then I started to look around, and you know, there's other girls, then there was, like, red-headed chick just around the corner, and I was like, why am I drawn, like, just to there, 
Now, she had a really rough boyfriend at the time, and I was thinking, I could get my ass kicked or killed here, but I'm going to still go up to her. Her name was Susie, and she was dating a guy called Colin, and uh, me and him never really saw eye to eye. I think maybe because he knew that I liked his missus, I don't know. Um, me and Susie is now like my best friend ever now, so um, when I first saw her, uh, tingles and sparks just ran through me. I was like, I really liked her, and uh, she was she was a really cool. She, she had a friend called Steph, um, and she, Steph was one of the goth girls that I've always found very quite interesting. Like, and I was good friends with her for a while, and. We had a bit of a falling out, and we still talk a little bit, but not as much as I like. She's got a good life now, and i got a lot of respect for her. She's got a great family, great partner. At the time, I used to hang out with her and Susie, and um, I just had a lot of fun with them. You know, you, you have fun with people, and we were all like a big group. And, and then, you know, I, I miss those days when we had like a big group of people we used to hang out with. Um, so we used to drink, I used to drink, I used to out my friends' drinks, um, one night there was this girl that, uh, she was intoxicated and I was just like sitting down and the girl literally just dropped on my lap and she's like, like days, she was like really out of it, drugs, alcohol, and you know, any guy could have taken advantage of that situation and all I thought was get this chicken water, let's get her rehydrated and let's get her safely home. I think I remember end up, uh, me and a couple of other people from the place ended up dropping her off home, so I don't remember the person's name because it's vague, but yeah, I, that whole place was crazy. I saw some weird shit, some fetish shows that, um, yeah, some weird shit. Um, there was one girl that I was, was gonna, thought I was gonna date for a while, her name was Holly. She's this model, just, she was amazing and every chick like wanted to be like her. Uh, every guy wanted to be with her and um, not many people know this about her but uh, I was that close. That close of that girl, the hottest girl in the freaking room at the time wanting me. Um, long story short, we lost communication. She went to Melbourne and never saw her again. But um, she, she, she was great. So great chick, very, gosh, she could dance, my god. What I like about those days is because I love the music, I love the atmosphere, um, it was fun. Uh, met a girl called Rebecca there, um, you know, we became friends, didn't talk to each other for a couple of years, now we're back friends, hopefully she'll stay my friend. She was an awesome chick there too, um, there was this girl called Jennifer there, bright blue hair, oh, she, she was amazing, she was a very nice girl, and then there was another cool girl called Billy, another redhead chick. She was she she was all right too. I don't remember too much about her, but um, I think the one that stands out is um, I did date this girl called Rochelle. Now this Rochelle chick, my God, why, why, oh why? Okay, so she was into the whole vampirism shit. She was dark, very dark, dark black hair, dark lipstick. Oh my, you know, I didn't mind, I didn't judge. Um, the whole dog collar around the neck thing, and me and her were going out with dog collars around us, like, you know, chained together. That was so freaking weird. But get this, while we broke up, it's the next question. See, the whole vampirism, she actually literally liked to drink human blood. To the fact that she carried a blade on her, and if you were her boyfriend, she'd want to cut your skin to drink your blood. And I said, no, 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 you're not doing that. Not not with me. No, no. She dumped me because I was too weird. This is coming from a girl that likes to drink blood, sits on her ass, and likes to talk up with every single guy there. Please. For freaking sakes. I'm the weird one. She's doing that shit. Though, to, the, to her account, that um, I didn't judge back then. You know, I was just, you know, in my own world. But um, to this day, I still keep in contact with some of my good friends there, like Crystal and Susie, like, I know that if they were single, they'd probably choose me, because I choose them, um, they're like my two best friends that I've still kept in contact with, Michelle, obviously, everyone knows, she was my main friend, uh, Steph, unfortunately, you know, we, it breaks my heart every day, but, um, 
I wish I had a friendship back with her. Uh, like I said, Susie, Crystal, Michelle, Steph, that all, and, and, and these girls are just amazing. And Jay, of course, what I mentioned before, because we we both sh share a common interest. We both like the insane clown posse, motherfucker. Oh, yes, insane clown posse. We're juggalos. That's probably why he um, you know, looked out for me and stuff. But um, the thing that I always miss is. I wasn't afraid to go out of my boundaries back then, and part of that goth life, I, I like the fact that I could be in a place and not feel like, you know, like I'm overdressed or underdressed. I don't have people staring at me or looking at me like, oh, that guy's weird, he's got a mohawk, you know, because like I said, look at my hair now, you know, it's in the stages of changing, but when I get this new look, I can go into a place like that and I'll be fine. The only thing I didn't like about this place is that... As much as I respect for the security guards there, they would let in underage people all the time. So if you're an underage girl and you dress the part, they don't look at your ID, they just let you straight in. And I know that for a fact because some of my friends were like 17 and they were getting let in at the time. And I just found that so wrong because, you know, if it was a guy, you can't come in. But when it's a good looking girl, straight in. And these girls, you know, most of the time, you know, you'd see girls with fishnet stockings, um, fishnet armbands, mini skirts, chains, multicolored hair, it was a great place, I gotta admit. But, um, you know, now they look back on that time and go, you know, where are my friends now? It's good to have some of them that are still around, but, uh, you know, I've had a few girlfriends from there. I think the weirdest incident I've uh, ever had there was, um, there was one night, there was, this, I reckon, 40s, let's say 40s, uh, your old woman, she was just chatting me up, and hey, I, 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 I don't care what age, she, she looked alright. She was chatting me up, uh, I'll get you a drink, what are you drinking? Uh, I don't drink, okay, uh, Jim Beam Coke. Double Jim Beam Coke, straight there. Halfway through that, I'll get you another drink, what do you want? Uh, Jim Beam and Coke, and I just like, passed it off to the side, just so I wouldn't be getting too drunk, because I realised what's going on. Then she starts hooking up with me. Okay, not, not bad. And her husband walks in. This big, massive, stock, bikey, tattoos all over, big beard. You like spending time with Mrs. Mate? And I'm like, yes, sir. I didn't know that this was your wife. Oh, I don't have a problem with it. If you want me, you and the Mrs. can come back to my place to have a few drinks. And yeah, and then I was like. No, it's it's so cool. It's alright, you can hook up with my missus, I don't mind. I'm like, is this going where I think it's going? And I, and he said, yeah, mate, I don't mind a bit of you. I'm like, oh, it's just, I'm like, I'll have that drink back, you know. It's like, okay, uh, that was when my cue was at. It's all good, I'm walking up. And then I got the drink off my mate and started drinking because I couldn't believe what I heard. So, yeah, menage a trois? Mm -mm, not for me, thanks. I don't want some dude like that. Ooh. But yeah, that's as you've seen in my other previous vids. Like one's about my um, first love, and this one's about my golf life. And the next one will obviously um, be different. Thank you for supporting this channel. It's been great. Uh, I, I have um, the one boy boy band coming up soon, so I'll be singing all boy band songs. Just myself, no, just music and just me being an idiot. But that's coming up and soon. Uh, so I sing all boy band songs, girl band songs. I'm a one man band. It's, it'll be called the One Kid Band because I'm the kid and I'll be singing some of these songs. They'll be terrible, let's be honest, they'll be shit. But you'll hear like Hanson, Backstreet Boys, Westlife, Savage Garden, Aqua, Britney Spears. You'll hear all that. So, um, yeah, thank you all for watching. It's a Great, uh, great thing of this channel. If you want to share your friends, share it with your friends, like it on YouTube, subscribe. Um, if you're on Facebook watching this, send the link to your mates on Facebook and say, look at this idiot. He is my friend. But if, to those who I mentioned in the vid, don't get upset um, if that I named you. It's only, uh, you know, no one's going to know who you are unless you know, if, unless they know you know you, but yeah. Um, yeah. So thank you all for watching and um, stay tuned for more episodes coming.